News reporter Sophia Perez takes us to the 32nd Street Armory, the future home of the Arlen Specter U.S. Squash Center. Over the past several months, we've seen a shift in traffic emerging from the Armory on Drexel's campus. Where we once saw ROTC students in fatigues and club sports athletes in sweats emerging from the building, we now see workers in hard hats and lots of construction vehicles. Drexel is renovating the Armory into the Arlen Specter U.S. Squash Center a site expected to make Philadelphia the capital of squash in America. So the National Center is being built in collaboration with Drexel University and U.S. Squash. Um, this is going to be an impressive milestone because we've never had a, a national facility before and the fact that it's right here on Drexel's campus is incredible. It's going to be used by the Drexel men's and women's varsity squash teams for practice and for matches as well. Um, and it'll also be a host venue for uh, U.S. squash tournaments, both juniors and adult levels. The squash team is excited about the new facility and what it means not only to Drexel, but to Philadelphia as a whole. I think it's going to be awesome for the squash community. Uh, you know, to have a 20 court facility and what they're going to be trying to do is they're going to try and, I think, establish a club team out of there. To have, you know, that sort of facility and a lot more courts that people, people can use, whether it's for rec centre, club teams and everything else, it's for the community, it's just going to make it, uh, you, know, you know, as big as it can be. Squash coaches and players aren't the only ones talking about the new facility. Torin Bannon supervises intramural sports at Drexel. These recreational teams have used the armory in the past. I think most people are excited about the new squash center. I think they're interested to see what it's like, but I also know that some people are kind of bummed that it's not going to be the armory anymore and because outside of just in Amarillo's, people could come and play, uh, pick up basketball or pick up soccer and things like that. So I think they're a little bummed that that won't be a thing anymore, but I know they're still really excited to see what it becomes. The university does have a plan for athletes displaced by the new squash center. Most sports teams that use the Armory will be able to practice and play in this new all-weather dome. It's supposed to be completed by next fall. Despite losing their familiar space, athletes we talk to are reacting positively to the change. I think overall it'll be a good thing for the campus. It'll bring in money and squash players to the area. Sophia Perez, Dean News.